points. Welcome back to the Some Ordinary Podcast with the uh, the Bussy Trio. Yeah, yeah. We got me, we got me, Caleb, uh, we got Muda, and we got Nux, the PNG, and we also have a special guest, Coffeezilla. Not part of the Bussy Boys? Not no. No, no, no. You're not a Bussy Boy yet. Oh, okay, we got not. <laughs> you have to, you have to be yet. a guest on at least three yeah. episodes to okay, be a Bussy Boy. This is number two for me, so I just yeah. hope you know I'm True. on number my two. way. Yep. You All could right, be the fourth checking. bussy boy if you're not careful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think Charlie's the only right. bussy boy that. I think Charlie uh, is. Yeah, aside yeah from he's the three a bussy boy. But uh, what we know that coffee is is coffee is currently being threatened. Not really. Oh. You're not being you're not being threatened. But the people around us no, are. No, I'm not being threatened. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys uh, at the top about the ice show speed situation. You guys, have you guys heard the crypto scam that he like kind of worked with Paradox Crypto? Yeah, have yeah I got a video that? coming yeah. out today of that. Should I not Perfect. release my video? Well, there's definitely some no, updates no, no. you should hear about. So, <laughs> Paradox Crypto was promoted by iShowSpeed. I'll give a quick recap for those who haven't, like, heard about it. And basically, uh, everyone called it a scam in chat. Now, mm. I later confronted their founders, and I was like, hey, I think you're a scam too. Like, tell me why. So, we had this two-hour, like, conversation where basically they screamed um, that I was a racist because I thought they were a scam. And I was like, okay, cool, that's a good argument. And after that, it was like, all right, that's fine. They realized how bad they looked, so they ended up re- releasing a response where they tried to, like, kind of calm down and say, look, we just, everyone who was calling us a scam, they were all bots, guys, don't believe it. So that was all fine. I wasn't going to respond to it because I thought okay. Charlie did a great job. He already talked about it. But today, or last night, They decided to threaten one of the TikTokers who was talking about them and criticizing them with violent threats of, like, we're going to smash your teeth in. And they put a hit on the guy for (laughs) $5,000. They said it was going to be $10,000. This is my uh, uh, hilarious detail. They said it was going to be $10,000. We should do it. We should should stress that the hit wasn't violent in nature, right? Or was it actually, like, a a mafia-style hit? Oh, yeah, like it was on Snapchat. He goes 5K to the guy who okay. brings me this guy so I can see this troll's face and sends me his mum's address. That's literally what he said. Is that not so, illegal? <laughs> very illegal, sir. Yes, it's not yes, illegal. It's it's very not. illegal. <laughs> I mean, I don't fucking know what country I'm they no live in. I'm a lawyer. I am no lawyer. <laughs> what, what, what country? I don't know much about legalese, but that seems like it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's also not a great Brother. look on Paradox Coin. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, guys. I'm going to sell my Paracoin right now, dude. I know, dude. I was almost in (laughs) Paracoin. I I thought they were maybe a scam, but then this convinced me that they weren't. If they wouldn't have called the hit on the guy, I would have bought their stuff. So yeah, y'all want to listen to the red legitimacy. Do y'all want to listen to the the, the threats together? All right, I'll pull it up. Yeah, yeah. All let's, right, uh, let's, 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 I, I just want to make a video on it. It's, it's, it's like the greatest. It's like, dude, they're like literal internet tough guys. That's crazy. Dude, it's like, it's like Andrew Tate saying, I can make one call and bury you. <laughs> it's like the same. So I made a video. Charlie made a video. They didn't threaten either one of us. They chose the smallest guy uh, talking about it, saying, honestly, the same thing we said in a nicer way. And they like chose that guy to be like, we're going to kill you if you it's just like, dude, that's classic internet tough guy. Like, we're gonna smash your teeth in. What are you doing? Let's uh, let's experience this. Paradox Crypto, you guys are buying a token from this guy. Yes, I'll play the messages. See you, you little shit. I'm gonna come see you personally myself. Yeah, for spreading all that fake fucking lies <laughs> on my name, you little bastard. Uh, Watch when I catch you, I'm gonna smash your teeth in. Every single time you look at your face in the mirror, you're going to see your broken Ma- nose bust up in 20 Ma- different places. Ma- That's what I'm going to do. That big fucking nose of yours. <laughs> right? You thought it was funny, innit? You thought it was funny. You're just troll man's on the internet. Oh, I'm not an internet guy. What you see on the internet is one thing. <laughs> Calm down. I'll slap you. He's calling him. <laughs> He's calling. And the worst is... <laughs> <laughs> He, does, he can't, he can't even just threaten him. He has to call him while threatening him. What the? Like, not now. Let me listen to your first threat. <laughs> Watch how your own boys will snitch on you and give me your address. And then I'm going to see what you're going to say when I come there. Because I think you think I'm just some internet dickhead, but I'm not an internet dickhead. Yeah? So I'll see you very soon, you little shit. And one lesson you're going to learn from this. Don't talk fucking shit on the internet. Because you chat shit, you get banged. End off. Now make sure personally... He's saying this over the, the internet. I beg you try to screenshot this and put this out there. 
Just do me a favor. Do me a favor. I'm going to show the whole world you can't just troll on the internet. <laughs> nice. Another one. He said to Why ain't scared of you? That's what, awesome, what he just did. God, dude. Yeah, it's over for you, mate. You're exposed. <laughs> I think that's it. I can't. Chat shit. Dude, that is lit. Think about it very carefully. <laughs> you know what you do next? Oh man, I am so saving that. Dude, this is this is gonna be a great follow-up video. Dude, Jesus it's go it's gold. Can wow. you believe that? That's the guy who's like, oh, we're not a scam. We're just like this professional organization. And then the smallest guys that are criticizing them, they're literally like threatening their lives. They said they put a 10k bounty, but they only put a 5k bounty. I think it's because of how the Paracoin is performing. It hasn't been mm -hmm. so hot. Their their like bounty numbers are a little lower than usual. That sucks for them. Yeah. I think the reality of it is that like the um I, I just don't know what he expected out of it. Like what the f what was this man expecting? Like I'm sorry, what what was what was going through the head of this the, what, he was, got what money was going head. through the head of an internet tough guy? It's so funny because you 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 see like like companies and stuff threaten YouTubers with legal things all the yeah. time. Like I know personally a lot of people that got really scary emails like legalese, you know? Like from yeah. co corporations or whatever that they're criticizing. And, you know, even though the lawsuit doesn't hold water, it's still scary. I have never seen yeah. someone commit a crime uh, over the internet like this. This is, this is like, the crazy thing, though. Thinking? Well, he's done it before. Nobody knows about this guy because he's, like, kind of new to being, like, big or blown up like this. I like this guy. Yeah. Yo, Oompi, you should collab with him. this is so wild, it's like, you gotta be age-appropriate. What the f- Yeah, 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 dude, this is age-restricted. Ten bags We've already whoever gives me his address. Here. Hold on, let me- let Ten me, let me bags actually, for his uh, mom's address. His mom. Oh! Well, he's probably saying that's probably what he lives with his mom. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, true. It's like, an, it's like a double insult. I see what your point is. Yeah, yeah, point. double, double insult. Yeah. So, uh- who, who volunteers to call him and make believe they have his address? I would like to call him and oh, tell him that he's going to... I'll give him my address. That's like a banger idea. <laughs> no, you Just won't. give him Oopi's yeah, address. Would, I would. He walks onto Oopi's property and he blows his head. Dude, uh, yeah, that's crazy, though. Like, how many of his, of his children audience you think is going to fucking reach out to this guy, say L-scam, L-scam, and, and then he's going to be like, I'll fucking find your mom's fucking address, <laughs> tin bags. <laughs> You're nine years old, I don't... Can care. I'll ask in your face. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. London uh, style. <laughs> oh god. Every time oh, you look wait, in you the mirror. Wait, there, there's more there's more threats on it? <laughs> no way. What do you mean? You no can't way. just no threaten way. people. Yeah, no, no, no. There there's definitely more threats, man. Like this guy's like psycho. Like it depends if y'all want to be age restricted. Because he says some wild stuff. Or do y'all have like a censor? I, dude, I don't even care. Truth this is, is he great probably now. threatened them because they were being racist. <laughs> That's my theory. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> really, it's racism's fault. Yeah, racism against racist. British people. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and say that racism is pretty bad. That's a good. Yeah. That's brave a good statement stance. there, man. It's pretty uh, brave know, of. Very it's pretty brave lefty. of what's his name, An Antonio guy. Pretty brave of him to stand up against racism like that. Yeah. So you know, wow. he's a great guy. Great. Great guy, good guy that you wanna in charge of your crypto coins. You know what I mean? Like yeah, this is the guy. He's the Elon Musk of Britain, I think. He's, he has a bright future as oh. a uh, as a uh, that is a leader. So that is the, and as, like and as an yeah, actual thief, check. he also steals things True. in his free time or tries to. Thank you to Galaxy Lamps for sponsoring this episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast. Get a Galaxy Lamp. It's a projector. It will make your room turn it into stars and beautiful. I've been having sleepovers with the homies every night under the stars. I love it. You can change the rotation speed, the brightness. There's on and off timers. There's an app. You can control it with Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. I put one in my room and I loved it ever since I did that. It sounds insincere. I'm not good at reading ads. I do actually like this product a lot. This thing makes a perfect gift for yourself or others. And you can get 50% off plus an additional $60 in savings. Go to galaxylamps.co forward slash SO podcast. Go to galaxylamps.co forward slash SO podcast to support the podcast, support me specifically, because who cares about those other guys, guys? Uh, I'll show you guys that too. <laughs>
I mean, I'm sorry. Am I overloading you guys with too much stuff? No, dude, like, this no, no, is amazing. No, no. This is give awesome. Me the, give me the channel. Give me the channel. I want to do like a. I want to just check this. You know, it'd be funny if we all died. If he if he actually got us all. That'd yeah, be that'd funny. be hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Oh, no. oh yeah, good. this might be the last episode of the podcast. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, send, send shit, you get shit. You get fine. <laughs> you get bang. I just want to go over this whole channel's account, by the way. I just really want to do this. Hold on. I want to. I want to do it like classic, like me style. No, like dude. Into this. Honestly, he only has three videos. In those, Can you he, link has, this? he is very <laughs> economical. He's done a lot oh, yeah. of three videos. Yeah, he just puts out hits. <laughs> Bro, he's yeah. only bangers only, so, dude. So, for anybody that's following it, this is a sub 10k channel, proving no matter what, the best content on YouTube is always by the under 10,000 subscribed. This is like the an iceberg of YouTube content, so you've got... Dude, is he verified? On YouTube with 10,000 10, subs? How'd he do that? Yes! Mm. Oh, he is there. Mm. He's, in the, he's, in the... he's got two Lamborghinis. Alright, let me show this, Come Muda. On, dude. Let me show this. Open the boot! Open the boot! Open the boot! Is the boot open? He just tries to steal this robot. And it says, <laughs> I hate robots. <laughs> this robot. <laughs> <laughs> Just, he just gets sure mad at robots. Like he sees a robot, robot or a random he one. gets so angry at it, but then it won't fit. Is, is, that, it, is that like his? That can't be like no. a random bot. That has it's to be his. Watch, watch. Literally watch. Because he gets caught in the act. He's so stupid. Yeah? Oh my god. No, we're just making sure no one's stealing this. We'll see if He's a case study. Huh? We're just making sure that no one's can steal this. Caught. We're just making sure. See if it fits in the booth. It don't. We'll put it back. They're just f***ing stealing that thing. This is the lamest prank ever. No, they're just- they're just testing if it can- We're taking this yeah, robot. Man. They're testing to make sure no one else can steal it. <gasps> yeah. Um, can Damn, I see that? they got a whole ass family make walking sure out for guys? this. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we'll just make sure it's, it's cool. I'll see you on the side. Let's go, let's go. Cheers, boss. Cheers, boss. He even does what the slow-mo of himself. <laughs> wow. I can't, dude. Dude, dude, this is made up, man. This is made up, bro. Bro, he literally says, I'm a terrible criminal. And then he's like, here's what I was trying to do. I was trying to steal this delivery bot. Oh. This guy's insane. And he oh, may no. be Caleb's favorite person in the world. I like him. He's yeah, got that kind of hey, mafia guys. beat to him. He's like yeah, yeah, a... Yeah. Uh... Hey, guys. Guys, stop. Look. This guy also has a university. Oh, I know. I, yeah, yeah. He's got, oh, he's yeah, got his yeah. own... It's the uh, only way he, you can get rich. It's the yeah. only way in 2020 Affi Affiliate. Affiliate marketing, baby. I don't know if I should do this or Andrew Tate's new real world IO. No, 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 You have to do both. Yo, I oh, think I'm in the new trailer of real world. The, I'm part of the Matrix now. I don't know if you guys knew that I when saw, you invited yeah, me you, on this he, podcast. That's embarrassing for you guys for to invite someone from the Matrix on. That's... <laughs> yeah, f you, bro. You're part <laughs> of the Matrix. Yeah, dude. You're just wanting us to believe in the system, bro. Yeah, dude. You're not leading me to a classic Tate W, dude. You're not going to get me to make 2K a year off Shopify. <laughs> That's lame, dude. <laughs> You suck, you work for bro. the system. Oh, Unlike me, I do Amazon drop shipping, dude. I don't work for the system. <laughs> I don't. I don't serve Amazon. no billionaires, bro. Bro, you know how you can make much more money than affiliate marketing? All you got to do is find delivery bots and see if you can fit them in your trunk. Steal them, yeah. Yeah, you need in a your bigger boot. boot. That's like some, that, <laughs> your boot. That, that's your like some fucking GTA Online <laughs> shit, like a side activity in a video game. Like, just dude, this, this is like, he's like, known <laughs> as the side quest criminal. <laughs> 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 It's like, you know, you have the main <laughs> boss, and then you have, you know, there's yes. the Grumpkin that's stealing all of my flip <laughs> There's Amelia. So why would there's, you upload there yourself <laughs> failing to steal something? Or stealing something Content, bro. A... <laughs> you wouldn't know. You're just in the Matrix. Yet again, we can circle yeah, it dude, back classic, around. Classic. Classic Matrix. <laughs> or, or, I think we could, maybe it's a racist thing. True, are you a racist? Maybe the, bot, maybe the bot is racist. Maybe there's, like, a racial component. I mean, the component. bot is the white. On the okay, bot. I'm just saying. Yeah, the bot. Yeah, dude, true. But doesn't that mean does that is why he may have uh, he may have jumped in jumped in the way there, jumped on it. True. That's it's Amy Otalio, man. Nobody, I don't think it's, anyone it's saw this coming when, when uh, we did a video on that. That's like, who saw this coming? No. This guy is like. It's a, like it's 
it's it's like it's like oh some random guy doing crypto with him and then because they work with <laughs> iShow Speed or some larger creator it's like wait a minute See, let me do a quick that, background search on him ooh that, that's actually something I wanted to bring up what? just out of curiosity how many crypto scams go under the radar because they aren't working with the the top one percent of creators probably a lot so many yeah so yeah it's many. unbelievable yeah actually if you're like I. I a long time ago, I learned that there's a sweet spot for criminals. Pro tip to criminals out there. Guys, don't listen to this part, okay? You don't want to hear this. Uh, the sweet spot of crime is like $1 to $5 million because nobody's ever going to catch you because you're not big enough to get matter. Once you you're get not big that, enough to be on any rate Once you get to like, yeah. like $10 million to $100 million to $500 million, like the higher you go, it's like the GTA star system where it's like the level of scrutiny just gets so much higher and then you get caught. I'm like, writing you this down. Want to just do a one to five million dollar scam? That is the sweet spot of like that's like horrible. I mean, because that you'll always get away with it because Nux is right. Like nobody's going to notice. You just go right under the radar. I don't know. Even like if I, somebody does. I notice, know that like, there was law enforcement agencies just don't care. Yeah, there was a crypto scam yeah, like a year ago done by like this Yu-Gi-Oh guy. Okay, no one's making videos and exposing some Yu-Gi-Oh streamer. Okay, like that's just not mm-hmm. going to happen. Even so, Joel I, look, I don't, didn't I don't get know exposed. If it's, I don't know if it's a True. scam or an allegedly. I yeah. love Jolt Coin. I still got mine. I'm holding. Do you? Are you hodling Jolt? I'm ho- I'm I'm diamond handsing Jolt Coin. <laughs> He's been jelking to Jolt soon, Coin every night. I swear, night. dude. I swear. I, I've got pa- I, I got paper hands on my Paracoin though. After that Amy Otalio, just fucking freight train of emotion and. I love Amy Otalio, dude. He's my favorite. He's YouTuber hot. Now. I'm a I'm a fucking I'm in the defense force for my boy Amy, bro. He's. This is. I cannot believe this is a real thing. It's yeah, the act, I cannot human. believe any yeah, of this, this is, is real. real. This is real, bro. I just. I can't. It's so like the fact that he's. It's like. It's like looking at a. You know, like South Park is like a parody of reality. I don't even believe that anymore. I don't believe parody shows. This is like some Black Mirror shit bled into the real. Maybe we're in an episode, dude. Maybe we're in an episode. And of some, it all Black leads Mirror. back to the ferret conspiracy. Yeah, would this have been different in the in the, the weasel time? time the weasel, the weasel timeline, time exactly. Line, yeah. Yeah. Would this have changed differently in that case? Yeah, that is that's that, wild. That's like so. It's funny because like before the show, all right, Coffee DMs me and he's like, "This new development on the FTX," and I'm like, "Oh, it's probably some fucking." I thought you were referring to like maybe oh the dump got traced or like SBF got like fucking actually like extradited or something. I did not expect this. This to happen. <laughs> this is wild, bro. Amio Talio. The Amio uh, Talio yeah, drop. It's huge. I think he actually might go to jail. The kid submitted a police report for it. And it's like he has all the receipts. I mean, it's like all God's sake. I don't know. I think that's illegal. I have to, like I said, not a lawyer, but I have to imagine that has to be illegal. Putting out a bounty on someone. I think the part about like just like threatening someone on the, over the phone is one thing, but actually putting cash on it is like a whole other level of. Because somebody I could think... see that, go do it, and then, like, I mean, it's, like, natural. People see money, they want money, they go do stuff. It, if swatting is illegal, I feel like that's got to be illegal. Also, everything is illegal in Britain. Like, you, there, you, can't, you can't even say stuff. Bro, right? the Matrix like can't... strikes once well, again. Yeah. yeah, you can't even just, like, say what you want. Yeah. Like, you can say, I want you to die to, like, a congressman or something here, but you can't say that in the Britain. Uh, there was a YouTuber uh, that was talking about a uh, British it. streamer and mentioned something like, like, you cheated on your husband, and he got sued for it. Defamation's totally different over there, and it's, like, way yeah. harder uh, of a law to pass. Like, you, there's yeah. way less actual, like, free speech in terms of, like, on public news yeah. and stuff. It's weird. Yeah, I'm glad I do not live there. That would be – I don't think I could run my channel. That's just one of the many um, reasons that I'm glad I don't live there. I'm glad – I'm glad we live in the red, white, and blue. I'm and glad we live in Texas. Texas. The people go yeah, dude, I love Texas. Texas. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> All the guns you that's want. That's why he's not... Th- <laughs> Literally, that's there's three in this room you with Charlie. right now. Don't gotta, tell him where it check. is. I gotta check. Do I have any... Oh, my God. I gotta All check. Right. Do I have any, like, response from anybody here? Like, fucking... I have to check my DMs if I got anything from this guy. I don't think I got anything, because I, I did make a video, and I didn't get shit. So I don't think he, like, really targets anybody where do, like nobody where would he big. Have sent anything snapchat no nobody big he's not gonna go after anyone big no. it's just small people like that's like yeah. the that's the it, internet tough guy you don't go after the big people you go after mm-hmm. the tiny creator yeah. the smallest you can find and then that's like you yell at them <laughs> yeah that's what i do with all my haters i yeah. go to the smallest <laughs> guy and i punish them 
<laughs> and, then, and, then, and then I, I pray to God that never reaches the bigger guys. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, this guy will literally be wiped off the face of the internet by commentary creators, for sure. He's about to get annihilated. Oh, I, I can't wait. Dude, tomorrow is going to be the best. I, I can't wait to film this video after doing the podcast, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to go wash my face. I'm going to go smoke a fucking fat blunt. I'm going to come back to this with refresh ready to go. Yep. What Top up on fuck? some G Fuel. Just fire oh, it Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm in, yeah, dude, a whole line raw of it, 100%. I'm just, like, when I see stuff like that on the internet, and it's like, you know, after we've covered so many crypto scams and douchebags, this might be, like, it's like it's like a man trying to outdo Andrew Tate. <laughs> like, just, yeah. Well, you know, he yeah, worships he Andrew Tate. Like, he loves Andrew Tate. I could tell, bro. Yeah, I could oh, tell when, when, he came, when he came on my stream, he kept going, like, hey, I hope this is, like, the Piers Morgan interview. And I was like, Piers Morgan? And then I realized, oh, like, Andrew Tate was just on Piers Morgan. And then he's talking about, Pier like, Andrew Tate all the time on my show. And then he's like, maybe you don't like me because I was neighbors with Andrew Tate. I was like, what? I, I have no... He's like, maybe you don't like me because the way I dress. Maybe you don't like me because my skin well, color. Well, it's funny when they played the race card. Yeah, I, I love when like they play the race card because... Because I'm just like, I, I want to see him do that to me. I'm like, brother, we're the, I don't, know if, I don't know if you need an optometrist, but my friend, we are the same, you and I. <laughs> well, no, the other thing is like, oh, there was some guy great. criticizing him who's black and he was like going off on him. And like, anyway, he's, he's like, he's a total clown. I mean, he's fodder for the commentary community. They'll be eating for weeks off of him. Oh, you know, this is the thing with the commentary community that drives me insane because they're like, oh, let's talk about the vegan teacher. I'm like, why? <laughs> Dude, look at this. This is way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Nico Kato, let him make life choices. This man is literally committing felonies. Hey, le leave <laughs> Upa alone, fuck? okay? Let him talk about Nico Kato Avocado if he Ew. wants to. He came over to my house. Yeah, that was a big you know, win, that, actually. That, that was a good been... video. Yeah, that Banger. was, uh, I, I just, I, when I saw the, th I think it's like the thumbnail just sells me on the Oompa video. I'm like, that's going to be a fire video. <laughs> <laughs> it has 5 million views now. It's yeah. insane. No, it's good. It's good. It's fucking crazy, bro. Oh, yeah, I was waiting to watch man. it on stream because, like, I promised my Twitch people that I would watch it with them. So I'm holding off on it until I actually have an hour to kill. Is that the only way the redemption arc of Ami Otalio is like the Nikocado villain arc? You just go full villain. Because he, I'll say one thing about him. Say what you want about him. He is entertaining. And that's the key Absolutely. factor. That's the key success of all villains. It's not about. If he doesn't go to jail, yeah. he's, I don't know. he's good. I he's don't set. think he's. I, I disagree. I think it's entertaining because he's doing crimes and that's so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's for him to act. Yeah. that's sure. why he's entertaining. Like you, and yeah, see, you're Andrew, right. is, is, Andrew is, is, Tate is entertaining, aside from like all the weird stuff he says. Right. So that's why I think Andrew Tate yeah. survived and thrived because he is a charismatic individual. This guy's not charismatic. It's just impressive how stupid someone could be. Yeah, Amy Otalio answers the question of what if Andrew Tate, but ugly and not charismatic. <laughs> What if Andrew Tate, but just not enough money? Yeah. Andrew Tate, but no pussy. Andrew Tate, but rented Lamborghini. <laughs> Andrew Tate Wait, without saying, unlimited sexual access. Rented. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. It, it's, it's wild, because it's like, I, I just like, I look at that video, I'm like, wait, so just the absurdity of it. You're in this UK suburb, you've got a Lamborghini, you've got like some Rolls Royce, I think. I don't even know what the fuck the other brand was. And you're stealing a delivery bot. This is going to, like some guy just ordered some fucking food. Off some yeah, and the little robot's like, beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Poor little robot, like, little guy. Out, like wondering what the error, error <laughs> being stolen. My favorite part yeah. of that whole clip is he puts "I hate robots" in the bottom of the screen as he's stealing the robot, like as if no, he no, needed dude. some like, justification. That was his editing in post. His post editing, he had the whole footage there in in, in its entirety. Uh, the only thing he had edit. in post was the "I hate robots." <laughs> It's you, like, it just imagine, like, you have your whole, like, video right here, you're editing it, you're still like, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm a, adding that's to the video. That's some Balenciaga shit, dude. Man, oh, I'm hey. so glad we could segue into that. Hurt. Hold on. That's a banger uh, segue. Do you always do that, Buddha? That's a hell of a segue, bud. He's good that's at segues. Good no, I don't. <laughs> He's good at segues. Well, okay, so, when it comes to Balenciaga, how many people know the story? Oompy, do you know the story? About what? The, so the Balenciaga photo shoots, the, little, the, the, the weird photo shoots they had with kids. Oh, you should tell us the story. You What's should Balenciaga? tell us okay, so. everything. That's the story and so the I'm conspiracy the theory. Story. This video is getting taken down anyway. 
It is. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So Balenciaga, for those of you who don't know, is a clothing brand. It's one of those hyper expensive mm. clothing brands like Chanel, whatever. You know, where they sell you like a homeless t-shirt for like two grand. Yeah. Uh, you'd have to actually be mentally insane to buy one of their products. But hey, you know, your whole world's your oyster. Speaking of mentally insane, wasn't Kanye involved? Kanye was involved. Okay. And Kanye, yeah. Adidas, and Balenciaga all split up because of uh, recent statements made Got towards it. a certain Shalom. class of people. Shalom, indeed. <laughs> Shalom. So, like, that was so, hilarious. So, the thing about Bal- so the thing about Balenciaga. I think Gideon tweeted is, something uh, like that too. By the way, everyone's getting involved. <laughs> Weird. So the the thing with the Balenciaga people, and what's really insane about it is that uh, they so they do these drops, right? Like their clothing comes in drops, and so they have like advertising for these specific drops. Now, they did some photo shoots for their new upcoming drop or whatever, and a few of their drops. They weren't all the same exact uh, things. I just want to make that clear. In a few of the screenshots, or a few of the shots, they had children, right? Like little children just laying across like couches or like holding teddy bears. Now, the teddy bears were wearing bondage gear, uh, all right? Now, if you want it to be really f***ing charitable... It might have been goth clothing, but they had, like, leather straps and fishnets on. And uh, as a 28-year-old man, okay, I have seen these fishnets and leather straps at adult clubs more than I've ever seen in, like, goth places, okay? I'm just saying, all right? My life experience leads me a different fucking way, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. So then they had a bunch of these. I think it was creepier because they had some of the kids laying on couches and they had like Budweiser cans and like wine glasses and shit all around. I'm like, definitely not a thing that I would expect kids to be near. There was one shot where the kid was standing in front of like crudely drawn artwork and they had like Satan in one of like the little like drawings. Hell yeah. Weird. Who promotes this? Yeah. Jeffrey Epstein? Like who's the guy selling this? I'm a little surprised at, like, how, like, why this happened. Now, the second photo, which was from a different place, was a bag they had, like a lady's handbag. And underneath the handbag were, like, documents all sprawled out. Now, one of the documents was a document literally, like, from a 2008 court case about virtual pornography. (laughs) So, this case, by the way, it was actually in favor for the federal agencies and the the Supreme Court. Like, the Supreme Court upheld a decision that, like... It was something about the promotion or pandering the sale or transaction of illegal materials. And, like, even if it was, like, virtual material or, like, it wasn't harming any real children, just the selling of that type of material What do you mean it was placed illegal. among the bag? Like, like was it on top of it? What- so, like, it wasn't on top. It was under the bag. And it was, like, half the document was hidden. So you really had to click into the image, zoom in, oh, and, like, read like it for yourself. Oh, it's like a nod and re- wink or something? Like, is that what the... the it, I See, like, that's the where the conspiracies there? come into. But, like, it was just sort of staying there. Now, generally, if I was, like, making a shoot like this, I would probably download some lorem ipsum word salad document that nobody was going to look at because it's not important to the photo. Nobody has a court case like that printed out on their desk. There, I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Nobody yeah, that's has not that. A joke. Exactly. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, 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 an, that's an Easter egg right there, bud. That's, an East, that's what you call an Easter yeah, egg. It, it's, like, it, it's like you got an Easter egg, you got something weird. Um, and then there was like, so first off, this is where I want to stop, okay? Because some people get into like the weird QAnon ish, like conspiracy theory stuff where uh, they, they started like looking into other documents. Like they had like some metro management document, which is like a realty firm uh, in Washington or Northern Virginia. And they started like saying, oh my God, they have a, they work with a property firm in Northern Virginia. Washington, D.C. has 2,000 kids missing every year. Possible. I'm like, okay, first off, relax, okay? 600,000 kids go fucking missing every year, okay? Go all the way from like Dallas to like Miami. You'll find fucked up shit. So I was like, just chill back there. Now, when and it comes everywhere to everywhere they was... go missing, there's a Balenciaga shoot. Exactly. You said that, not us. You said that, not us, but I agree. So, so, when it, so when it comes to these, like, so, okay, would you just go right back to the photographs, okay? Like, just to the scope of that without adding all the extraneous conspiracies. These things go through like. Ten different people, okay? Lawyers, marketing people, website people. Oompy, you know this is a Sour Boys guy, right? Like, when you're uploading anything to your website, it goes through a bunch of different people, right? Absolutely. And those people all have a point where they can go like, hey, guys, Caleb, maybe we should, like, f***ing chill back. Or maybe we should, like, reassess. No, this went all the way through. We're actually the pedophile... The have, they jokes there, buddy. Have, have they responded to this and said, like, whose fault it is or whatever? They did. They have apologized. Okay. So they said, we're apologizing because we never intended children to be part of the photo shoots. Okay. If you never intended them to be, why the I don't f- believe did that. it get uploaded? I don't believe <laughs> yeah, that. That's, like, <laughs> and no, no, that's a lie. That's a total lie. What they say about the yeah, document. Like, like, they said that uh, they're actually pursuing legal action with the parties involved in creating that set. 
in all of it. So I assume what that means is we work with a third party contracting uh, yeah. firm. They were a little bit edgier or maybe they were doing like shock advertising. Maybe they were pedophiles. Know. This is me trying to get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they're trying the to right Who knows? You're, that's not shock advertising because yeah, no one weird. notices it. It's you're you're hiding it. You're purposely hiding it. You couldn't invent yeah. better nah, conspiracy bro, you, you don't if you tried. It's all about getting into their subconscious. That's how advertising works. The, the reason why this whole argument like really pisses me off, too, is like we talk about this, and it's like it really sounds painfully obvious to the four people here. But now people have turned this into like, oh, maybe this is like, you know, people just, uh, you know, going up against like the LGBT. And I'm like, how the f- does it jump into that or like well, there's no involvement there no matter who you are as a person and what background you have you should all be against whatever the fuck balenciaga was promoting uh, Even i will say if this was yeah balenciaga i have seen quite there they know their audience i've seen quite a few minecraft youtubers wearing balenciaga <laughs> so, uh, dude you make it yeah. <laughs> holy now i am not one to believe in circumstantial <laughs> evidence yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, you know. I, I, I for one, but hey, at the same time, I don't see any of us wearing anything Balenciaga here. So I'm just saying, <laughs> just saying, just saying. But like, it's so weird to see this happen and like people have twisted into some like weird, like almost like political fight against each other when it really should just be Balenciaga did some really weird shit and their apology doesn't exactly mm-hmm. answer for uh, how things have gotten to the way they are. Because it's like, even if you gave them every benefit of the doubt, it's like, like I said, 99% of this entire outrage could have easily been avoided had they just used adults in their promotional materials, right? Like, even Unless. the court case document, I would have, I, I might have looked at the court case document, I would have been like, eh, okay, kind of weird, but I guess they just have adult lawyers or something, and maybe they just printed out some fucking specific court no. case, but like no. all the other... No, not plausible. None of that is plausible. Yeah. No. no one has ever printed out a child porn yeah. document and accidentally had it on their, yeah, like, That's desk. insane. That's in, that's that's psycho. That's insane. And by the way, when you're setting up these photo shoots, like even more. So when I have like a shoot here on video, I care about what's on set. Even more when you're like mm-hmm. exactly crafting the perfect photograph, you pay attention to every pixel that's on frame. Especially if you're like an art brand. This isn't like uh, like Old Navy or something. Some brand that's just doing like mass photos. You know, like whatever they might slip through, or they'd hire it out. I could understand that. If you're some brand that's like making their bread on the fact that you have all this like deeper meaning, you're this artistic brand, but then your art is actually just like hidden Supreme Court cases. <laughs> That's not unintentional. And also, like, how else do you expect people to read that? I don't know. I'm not saying it's like some, like, cult of uh, pedos or anything. I'm just saying maybe it should be investigated, right? Like, more seriously yeah, than be throwing into, the like, intern under the bus. Because yeah. I just don't buy that. When you think, like, the... When you think about, like, the whole cult stuff, and this is obviously where the conspiracies get kind of dangerous into, like, territories that are unproven, like, my only response is just be logical. If you had a secret cult of people like that, which, don't get me wrong, there's, but we've seen the Epstein case, like, there's actual, like, elite people taking advantage of minors, no joke about that. Um, they would probably be using more private, personal, encrypted messaging applications than just, like, slipping through their shit in, um, in media, all right? Like, this, it really just feels like, th- like... I don't know. It, there's no explanation for what we've seen, but also there's not enough of a conspiracy to like link this to some crazy. I don't know. It's like all of your yet. theories, coffee, like your uh, probable cases. They they're all so flimsy. You know, it's like one of those. Once you eliminate all the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. It's like kind of one of those situations. It's just with everything with that the, you say with the Balenciaga thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the, my thing is, is that like, what? Just if you can't, it's like explain... it's impossible to be an accident. It's an impossible accident. Correct. Even though it yeah, sounds crazy, even though it sounds crazy, I like like Muda said, like we don't actually know what the case is here. I'm just not. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just exactly what you would say if you got caught. You'd be like, of course, it was an intern that did it. Of, co- of course, there's nothing. Obviously, to yeah. get you here. always throw I mean, someone yeah. under the bus for it, right? A good I, example I, would be. Go ahead. I was going to bring up, bring up an example, but it's going to might take us off course. So why don't you start first? My example is way worse. I was going to say a good example would be like uh, the first level of Halo 3, those little monkeys, you know, the little monkey family. Yeah. If they put that in there and then yeah, said yeah, they yeah. didn't need to, you right. know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
That's a good example. Also, okay. I just wanted to think about those little monkeys again because they're really yeah. funny looking. <laughs> that is you a know? good example. All so right. yeah. my, my, my example was gonna be, my example was gonna be all right. This is like FTX stuff. Do y'all know anything about that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So right. The, one of the interesting things was their lawyer. Uh, they have this guy Dan Friedberg. Dan Friedberg is the former. Uh, he's the regulatory officer, and he was a former counsel for ultimate bet which is a poker site which had a god mode Mm -hmm. which was a secret software hack where you could see your opponent's hands which is obviously very useful during poker and the boss the (laughs) founder although never criminally prosecuted allegedly according to like some uh gaming commission they did an investigation and they found he made like tens of millions of dollars well he got oh my god right and they basically caught they tapped Somehow they tapped his phone and the general counsel's phone, or this leaked, because Russ Hamilton, which is the guy who owns the, owned Ultimate Bet, and um, Dan Friedberg, the now lawyer of FTX, are on a call, and this goes back to the conspiracy stuff, Nux, where you go like, oh, the pu- their public like answer was it was a third party who used this software. They it used to be mm-hmm. a back end like a glitch where you could get. You could see people's hands, but it was on a 15-minute delay, and a consultant and a third-party consultant basically hacked it to make it live. This audio leaks, though, and they're literally conspiring. This guy goes, yes, I did it. I took the money. This is Russ Hamilton. But I'm not, I don't want to pay it back. I don't want to make it right, and we've got to make Sounds this Sounds like away. Ice Poseidon. Oh, my and God. And Dan Friedberg, yeah, Dan Friedberg goes, okay, <laughs> well, we'll just blame it on a third-party consultant. So that's exactly what Balenciaga would do is my point. He's like, yeah. like, of course, you just always would say, of course it's nobody that matters. It's just well, some, like, like well, lame well, like, photographer that we're going to blame everything on. My thing is, like, if you, if you come out and just say, oh, we're not going to harm we – don't, we don't believe in harming kids or stealing money or something. I'm like, what the fuck else is a company going to say, you know? Like, what, what else is a company going to say? Yeah, it's, it's like, just, oh, wait, yeah, right. now that you caught us, oh, fuck yeah, dude. We, of course we love all that illegal shit. What are you, crazy? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we – like, nobody would say that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it just <laughs> so means that there's weird. no information. When they talk, it's like it literally is meaningless because that you would say that if it's yeah. true and you'd say that if it's false. So it's like it doesn't actually matter. It's just – it's a wild thing to even like – it's just a weird conspiracy for like – I don't know. It, it's like they're, they're literally like this is where it is. It's like there's not enough information to link this to like some crazy like because because here's the thing. People compare this. They like get into the whole like symbology thing. It's like guys, six 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 imagery. It's like you got Satan. What is a the Satan Illuminati cabal? And I'm like, okay, guys. First off, let's just try to stay as rational and like level headed as we Agreed. can. You know, simple Agreed. as that. Yes. But like there there has to be like you have to sit there as a human being and say. Like, it just doesn't make that much sense. Like, even their apology just... Like, when you tell me it's like kids were not supposed to be involved in that shoot, well, why the fuck did you approve... Why did you approve that image to go up if the kids weren't supposed to... Like, did you not look at the image beforehand? Like, when I get somebody to edit a video for me, I, lo- I watch the whole f***ing video, you know, start to finish. Like, I'm not going to upload that to my channel, you know, because what if it has a glaring problem? What if they, like, set something or, like, used a clip that I didn't want them to... So I watched the whole thing. You're telling me like a brand that's way bigger than anything that I've been involved in is like they're they're gonna fucking they're not gonna check it twice. Like come on, that well, like why that just the does, teddy that, bears that if it wasn't supposed to, to be kids? You wouldn't have an adult and a teddy bear in a photo shoot. Like it just like yeah. it's not like the the teddy bear and the kid is part of the thing. It's like part of the set dressing. It's like when people defend the teddy bear shit too. It's like it's bondage clothing. I don't know what you're saying. Like it's not gothic. Or it's not like I've I've seen gothic shit when I've grown up. Gothic shit is not fishnets and leather straps. That's BDSM club shit. <laughs> it's weird too because it's like a there's like a whole yeah. vein of main like I almost said mainstream media. I meant media in general. That that sort of mm. stuff is okay. Where it's like the super hyper sexual sexualization of children, like cuties on Netflix. Um, yeah, that's yeah. a good example. Like, it's a thing that exists, and some people think it's normal and not weird. And then there's everybody else uh, who, but I mean, yeah. you know, like if you talk to a hundred people, a couple of them are probably going to be like, "Yeah, whatever, I don't really care." And then those people, it's the same thing, I assume, with and production companies who are making shit. Some of them are either either going to have a really weird, sick and twisted sense of humor. Hey, it'd be funny if we made Balenciaga look like pedophiles, or they are the cuties type where they. They, they just believe that that's good art and they, and they like it and they think it's mm-hmm. cool or uh, I don't know. They're like expressing their fucking, their weird mental quirks throughout. 
at Balenciaga no, ad I, I, pedophilia. I hundred percent agree on that too because it's like I just I, I feel like obviously there's a personal component like we keep saying company but like it's not the whole company that produces true. these shoots. It's Very it's true. one it's it's a few it, it's a third party company you hire it's a few people, but like ultimately that's why that's why these companies these corporate entities have big people that vet all of this shit. Yeah. you know like they. Like even even if like you hire somebody out, you're going to check their shit. This is where like my my like, and I hate to say it's a conspiracy theory because it, because it's really not. Like you posted that out there. I'm what am I supposed to draw from it? You know, like what am I as a as a human being supposed to gather from this? Is it like edgy shock advertisement? Doesn't seem that way to me. All right, even if it is, you just ruined your brand. What if I play devil's okay. advocate? What if it's a competitor of Balenciaga, and they like got in with a photographer and they're like, hey, we're gonna torch these guys. Let's just hide some shady shit in their, in their stuff. <laughs> and like, cause dude, that, honestly, that Balenciaga's on the though, ropes yeah. right now, dude. It, it, as a brand, this is career ender. Like this is bad. It, it, there's a lot of things yeah. to be associated with that you can survive. And this is kind of not mm, one of not them. One. So yeah. they literally, need to literally like, figure the worst out quick possible how you're thing. gonna be, how they're gonna be uh, dodging this one. Like it doesn't, they need something. Well, it's like nobody can defend it is the thing, right? Right. Like, people are like, even if this was edgy shock advertisement, like I said earlier, if I was somebody that wanted to buy Balenciaga clothing ever, like let's say that some fucking animal bit me and I went in feral and I was like, shit, let me spend two grand on Balenciaga. Fuck, why not? Mm-hmm. I would not buy the brand after what they've just went through, you know, because it's like, dude, it, it's just like after this advertising campaign. No, nah, it's too weird. OK, so interestingly enough, though, th- this leads us into a whole other branch of conspiracies. And that is, you know, you have a lot of like large um, companies that sell clothing. Let's say, let's say Gucci. OK, as just an example, not that I'm insinuating Gucci's doing anything wrong, but it makes mm-hmm. no sense that Gucci T-shirt, which looks horrible, mind you, is worth as much as it is. You don't think there's something fishy going on there altogether? It's like the art scene, also. You don't. You don't think that art Are you implying fraud that there's isn't a, happening? There, there's I'm, I'm just some, saying. There's some cleaning going on. I, look, I don't know. I'm not. What are you saying just, right now? I'm not. I'm not. Oh, Caleb is trying to say that he thinks that a lot of crimes are going <laughs> on. That's, that's, that's what uh, I'm trying. The, to say. Also, another good example scene. of like one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll I'll just say shit. I'll yeah, I'll dude, just say dude, whatever, dude, guys. Dude. Show us. Show um, us. <laughs> show us uh the a good example too of just like one person having maybe their artistic vision giving an entire bad brand or like a, mm-hmm. a like a tampax the tweet that they made yesterday or two days ago whatever it was when they said uh you're in their dms and we're inside of them <laughs> <laughs> on twitter what? you guys didn't hear about that no and people no. obviously got mad because it's like fetishizing oh, tampons which is weird gosh. as gosh that's um, so weird. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, one guy, one person, a girl, and one human being f- over Tampax. Yeah. Like, literally f- them over. That's terrible. Yeah. That- <laughs> some just edgy motherfucker thought it was funny. Sorry, some edgy fellow thought it was funny uh, to make that joke. And then I feel like it... Was that Twitter funnier. parody account? Are you sure it wasn't like some? It was Twitter a real. Parody? It was the official no. Tampax. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure it wasn't a Twitter blue? It's hard. It's hard to tell <laughs> these days. It's hard to tell on Twitter. True. It had the official. The official uh, check mark. Oh, ha- it went oh, viral on Twitter. Yeah, it had the fourteenth check mark. You're saying? Yeah. Exactly. Do y'all have the Tampax. official Twitter Man, the, thing? Like the official? Not yet. Thing? Not yet. I'm not waiting yet. until they roll out the option for twenty bucks. You can get the official one. That'll be fun. I, that's what I'm paying for it for sure. They still Dude, haven't deleted for, the like, tweet. What happened? Oh no, my god, it's still brother. up, bro. <laughs> they are committed to holy that shit. crap. They are committed to wow. the meme. That is badass. What do you guys think about like the Twitter stuff? Like it's losing all like some of its advertisers. I don't know if it's losing all. I heard leak stuff where like nah. the advertiser like it was still gonna come back. Yeah, I feel like why would you not advertise on one of the biggest platforms? Yeah, it's yeah, about no, viewers. Absolutely. It, it doesn't have any, at the end of the day, money money supersedes politics and and people's opinions yeah. and like. It's yeah. funny how a lot of people are switching to these alternative like uh, social media sites and uh, Mastodon and Hive. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's kind of like the same thing with like shit like Truth so Social stupid. and all that stuff. It's, it's like, so dumb. When you go to these, when you go oh. to these other rando websites like Truth Social, there's like no activity there. You're all just signing into an echo chamber that's run by either like the left or the right. What do you mean, case. bro? I saw I saw uh, someone hive um, and it had 14 rehives. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna rehive this. You. 
I'm gonna re hive quote. I saw the you. hive shit blowing up. I, I saw the hive shit blowing up, and I was like, oh, this is really stupid. But I just, I went there to like secure a name, pretty much, just because I was like, I don't want somebody like gathering my hive handle and then they're like saying some fucked up shit, you know? Are the so handles I was like, oh, unique? Just it. Uh, I think they are. I thought it was like Discord, um, to where it was like a number at the end. To where you could have no, no, no. There's no number at the end. So, someone, someone tweeted me a picture of J there was like a hundred J Schlats. <laughs> what? That sounds yeah. about right. Oh, no. There's no fucking point to it. That's I impressive. Well, that's, that's like that's like half of the. <laughs> yeah, right, right. yeah. I was gonna say that's half the users on Hive are J Schlatt now. Dude, I don't know. Every creator I saw yesterday has a, has a Hive. I was like, what are these fucking people doing, Dude, bro? Dude, people just they're, they're scared. Nowhere. They are terrified. Oh. I, I love that. I love that uh, meme you posted on Twitter about the hive of yeah. like, the construction. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hive. It's just like, <laughs> like, like the thing is with Twitter. It's like even if it like had failed, which like I don't know. I guess there was like some fear because they were like. They're, they had the engineers going like, "Oh, he fired like not eighty-one percent of the workforce, or they've left, and like maybe this." Because I always, I was like, maybe it goes down for like a day or two, because like maybe they just have like, they don't have enough people to handle the infrastructure. But it seems like it's fine. Like I don't. It was also the other thing, which like Elon Musk, whatever you might think about him, it's like I don't think the guy's pissing away forty-four billion bucks and like taking the L that hard yet, you know. Um, and who knows? Maybe Twitter could fail. Like, hey, remember when we were like MySpace couldn't fail? Hey, maybe Twitter could fail. But it just, I don't know. It doesn't seem as likely as uh, I don't know, man. Hope. Twitter I think they just want to see it fail. I just, a lot of people are complaining on Twitter. Twitter is the biggest it's ever been right now. It, no, by it, far, it, yeah. That's true. I think though that there is a chance that this would be the biggest L. I can't imagine spending forty million dollars to be blamed for every decision. Billion, billion, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, billion. Can you like I like yeah. it's just would be horrible to be the Twitter guy because no matter what you're hated by one side or the other no matter what decision you make it's always gonna be bad yeah. it's never gonna be enough somebody's gonna be mad at you and it's just like why do that if if you're a billionaire you're chilling Elon Musk is the rocket guy the car guy but he just wants to chat some shit I guess I just I think he wants he loves to, it man dude yeah, I don't know once you have that amount of money like who cares you know. It's about sending a message, you're saying? Yeah. It's a, you know, <laughs> it's a societal he's, thing. Yeah. He might as well. He has nothing to lose. So he loses $44 billion. Like, he's not going to be happy with only another $100 billion? Yeah, he's like, still the richest cares? man after losing that purchase, yeah. yeah. No, I don't think it's even about the money. I think it's just about being the guy that everyone's mad at all the time. That would be annoying. Yeah. In my but opinion, I feel yeah, attention, which might, like, be, like, that might actually feed the thing. I don't know, but also there are a lot of people that love him. <laughs> Like yeah, I was just about to say, of I course. feel yeah. like it's attention. I feel like I've seen it kind of swing the other way. The last couple, like the last week, it's like less hate. Like CBS came back, and like Twitter's kind of less anti Elon Musk, mm -hmm. and more so just like, all right, this is a shit show. Let's kind of let's kind of have fun here a little bit. Let's post yeah. our. You know what got you know what got me the meme of like when everyone's saying Twitter's dying. Elon Musk posts a tweet of like. The guy in front of the grave, he's like, yeah, in front of the Twitter, in front of Twitter, like everyone's talking about Twitter yeah. dying in front of Twitter. That was pretty good. I was like, all right, Elon, yeah. you got me. You won me over with this one. He's yeah. a good memer. But he also, I love how he like, he gets his opinions out by replying to people. And I, I mean, look, I don't know. I think he's promoting his own tweets a lot. Like I see his replies. My oh. whole timeline is his replies to people. He's, so, and it, he's busy. If I bought an app for $44 billion, yeah, right? think I'm not going to yeah, promote bro, my own no, Absolutely. Brother. I'm just saying, it's what funny. What are going to do? Ban me for TOS infractions? Bro. Dude, he should just start <laughs> saying that stuff. Like on his debt, eventually in like 40 years, I don't know how old he is, whenever he's dying, just start tweeting the most outlandish. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's yeah, funny because yeah. he replies to people like really small tweets of saying like, I don't understand why he brought back all the Republicans. And he'll respond with saying, well, the Democrats were never banned. You know, like he'll like be red pilled and stuff as he tweets replies to random nobodies. It's hilarious. I mean, it's my thing where I'm like, I just don't think anybody should be banned really like in – um, I remember, like, so one of my things is, like, I what think, like, Elon bots? should just be, what like, Do you as, think bots should be banned? I think so, I mean, so, bots yeah. should 100% yeah. be banned, but that's, like, for a whole different reason. Yeah, that's just, not like, a person. They're like, not even real. Thing. They're robots. Like, we hate even, robots. Like, even with, dude, yeah, yeah. steal <laughs> robots. Yeah. That's what we, we do. We hate robots. I'm going to steal your bot. 
I'm gonna put it in my boot. Like Elon is like, even with like Elon's recent like he's um he's been on the like I know remember when like Ethan Klein just got banned for the for the impersonation shit and he did it again on like the Ela Klein account. Yeah. I feel like they should be a ban too because I I like to think that Elon likes to stick by his morals a lot. I mean, at least, like, that's what he wants to say. And, like, he wants people to have less bans. So I feel like the ultimate litmus test is, like, are you going to unban those parody accounts like Kathy Griffin and all those individuals totally. who are banned under parody? Yeah, you got um, to, dude. The other thing is, like, he won't he won't unban Alex Jones, which is one of the only ones where I'm, like, I kind of really get it because, like, a lot of it does come from his personal biases. Like, Elon posted this thing about, like, his firstborn child dying. I saw that, yeah. He's, like, he has no fucking... He has, like, no sympathy, and I'm like, but yeah, But doesn't no, that go I, against I the thing of, like, you're that. a man of principle? I'm a man of principle right up until my personal life yeah. gets involved. Then I don't, like, I'm just yeah. gonna wield my power. It's also... Know, it's kind of... Also, there's plenty of people who have done worse things to, like, kids on a general scale than Alex Jones that, don't, that still have their accounts. Like, the you can't... I guess the question is, like, does giving a platform, and I'm not, I haven't really thought about whether Alex Jones should be unbanned or not. I don't really know if I have an opinion on it. But I think their mm -hmm. thinking would be having, like, some crazy guy who committed a crime online. He did a crime, but he's not necessarily going to spread the same stuff that Alex Jones would. It's more about Alex Jones' message than, like, what he's done out in the real mm -hmm. world, I think. I think that's what their argument would be. Whereas, like, you have actual criminals on Twitter, and they're allowed to have Twitter accounts. And it's like, okay, why is that allowed? It's like, well... Well, it's like... Because it, it's like, as much as I don't agree with, like, Alex Jones' shit, because, like, you know, ever since all the Sandy Hook thing, it's inexcusable. It's also like, you have official accounts for, like, the fucking Taliban, so it's like, is he really... Well, also, yeah, what about, like, that he's like uh, Warhawks, mm -hmm. American Warhawk politicians who have fucking tossed a Tomahawk missile into a oh, children's hospital in guys. Afghanistan? Yeah, I mean, why, why are they allowed to have fucking Twitter accounts, but Alex Jones isn't? You know? It's because we, we don't care about if you actually kill people. True, true, yeah. true. If we vote for you and you kill people, then it's fine. We have to vote for you first. It's a democracy. Yeah, or just like you go in the ranks of the military industrial complex and then you're fine too. You don't need yeah, to. Yeah, true, yeah. The, the other thing that was really weird was like the Donald Trump unbanning. So like the Donald Trump unbanning just happened and it's like... He literally just asked me, he was like, do you want him unbanned or not? And, like, I don't know how many chunk of those, like, votes were maybe bots or maybe they weren't, but it's like, yeah, he stuck by his guns on that and unbanned. I'll be honest, uh, it know, didn't 45. look like, I didn't think it was bots at all. It was like 52 to 48 no. percent, 15 that million sounded votes. That about right to me. That sounds Honestly. right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if we're going by, like, the Democrat-Republican split in the country, yeah, probably. Like, my whole theory on this is that actually this is totally a business decision. I think that Twitter was basically on life support before Trump and like tw whenever he start he started like really going ham on Twitter and the whole Trump mm -hmm. years Twitter blew up because yeah. of how yeah. how just like everyone was on Twitter everyone's reply guying uh Trump getting there were whole there were guys whose whole well, Twitter career was just reply guying up. Trump Jeff so Tedrick like, he yeah. wants to get Trump yeah. back on because now he's Joey like well, damn, I gotta get my <laughs> dollars back for Twitter so he's like he so he, I think what gave him away is like he starts posting things about Twitter, like like Trump trying to resist Twitter, and Trump like was talking on Truth Social about, oh, I'll only come back if Elon calls me daddy, like because he knows <laughs> he knows he literally knows that oh that God. Elon wants him back for money, like he knows that like he's gonna bring value back to Twitter. Yeah. Obviously, Twitter's already valuable, but um, like Trump, it was a huge driver of that whole machine. Well, when the activity surges during election season, again, you can just imagine how fucking profitable it will be for, like, the advertisers and, like, Twitter's whole during the era. Dude, Everyone's dude. on Twitter, like, yeah. Election season yeah. is just the Super Bowl of the internet. I, I, I'm really excited internet. to see how things go. Who do you guys I'm think is going to win the Super Bowl? These things tend to go. I think Trump. Um, that was a joke. That was a I joke. I really couldn't answer that. I, if you, th if I you think that I watched about. the Super Bowl, Loompy, you're Yeah, yeah I, I don't mind. actually know anything about football. How about Do you, you watch the Super Bowl MP? I don't watch. I don't watch football. Ah, I know. I like the Cowboys. <laughs> oh, I love you. Do you want the Cowboys to oh. win? <laughs> oh. oh my God! Are the Cowboys even in the no, running? I'm sorry. I'm just showing my ignorance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. Yeah. That's shocking. Yeah. And that, hey, hey, hold every on. Every year I hear about the Cowboys, and every year it's like they throw it away. The last second. Yes, that's They're it. such losers. They're bored. They, they, it's that's upsetting. the thing. That's the thing. They, uh, every fan. year they're in the running, but every year they 
fucking throw it away at the last. That's why I watch them. Because it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. fun, bro. <laughs> Dude, I am, honestly, I, I hate to say this, like... I'm a fair weather fan of sports. Like, I'll be an Astros fan, but only like when we're killing it, you know? When in the of World course, Series, yeah. hey, dude, I'm a fan. I'm a fan right now, but <laughs> yeah, Same, no, yeah. when things are bad for a sports team, I'm... I just, I love being the, I love being the contrarian at any of these sporting events in my family. It's like, and because uh, just like if you go down to like California, they're like, oh, hell yeah, the baseball season's playing. Fuck it, let's go love the Angels. And I'm like, you know, I'm like the biggest Yankees fan ever, guys. I can suck off. <laughs> I don't even give a fuck. I used them. to, uh, but I'm just like, I used to like, buy the jerseys of the opposite team. I would go to my friends' houses yeah. and they would always be like, yo, who are these? Guys? And I'd be like, yeah, fuck you guys. I want the other guy to win. Dude, I literally, me in high school, everyone's going for, you know, the Habs. And I'm like, the Habs? Who? You mean the Maple Leaves, right? Yo. Canada. Canada. <laughs> the Maple Leafs that are never Canada, gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Leafs that never actually that win just anything. Went right over my head. I, I get like, people excited about, about them, and I'm like, it's the one team no one cares about. But, Except uh, yeah, for me, was, uh, when they're against the Habs. That's right. Toronto, even, I got even your back. Doesn't care about it. We we all we all just feel bad about. It. We all we all just can't win, dude. Google has been like promoting. I don't know, Knox, if you've been asked since. I don't know. You're maybe you're not in Canada anymore, but I'm being begged by Google right now to go like defend their honor in the king parliament. No, about, I like, didn't Bill get C11. any of that. Oh my god, bro, they're getting. F***ing, they're like, we gotta keep YouTube for Canadians pure and clean. When you Please mean, defend when us. You, when you move to Texas, really. Probably next year, man. <laughs> Honestly, are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> probably thinking of yeah. I'm probably gonna move to Texas. I was talking about moving to Southern California because uh, my girlfriend's from Southern California, but I'm like, California's a failed state. <laughs> You'll see, she's like, ooh, don't say around that. They've been like Californians for a hundred fucking years. I do. Years. I, I literally live with a Californian, and every morning I wake him up, I say, California felt safe. Let's go get coffee. That was, that was my favorite Andrew Tate post, actually, this week, because he's like flying to the failed state of California to give the biggest <laughs> dump to Elon. <laughs> It's so funny telling Californians California is a failed state. It's funny you're telling Texans that Texas sucks, yeah. but well, no, it's it's funny when you tell a Californian that who now lives in Texas because then they have nothing. Dude, yeah, to say. true. Well, yeah, nothing to say. They're like, all right. Yeah, true. then they're like, you're right. No, all they got on us well, at this like, point I, is the weather. They do I, have the weather on us, but hey, the taxes. I just don't even think it's that big of a deal with the weather over there too, because like, like the when I was sweet, in Texas, man. when I was in Houston, it wasn't the worst. Houston wasn't even the when worst weather. When did you weather. go? But I, I was Houston? also there in January. Okay, yeah, January, that's why. Right? Houston sucks. <laughs> uh, dude, bro, don't let anyone tell you Houston has good weather. Come in the summer. Yeah, Houston's fucking humid. It's bad, bro. It's bad. It's like 150 degrees and it's no. humid as shit. Yeah, you feel yeah. like you're a lobster no, I, getting cooked. <laughs> by Amiotalia. Like, I was probably like... <laughs> I was like, I was like, to me, the two states that I would prefer to move to is like Texas or Nevada, one or the other. Like Nevada is also really nice because I like that desert seclusion. But then I'm like, we were looking at cities for like fucking Texas, and I'm like, ain't no fucking way I'm moving to like Austin or anything because it's like I might as well have just like moved to LA then, versus like it's Dallas crowded. or something. Like Dallas seems like my kind of state. Dude, Dallas, Dallas probably sure. is, is pretty good. It's like more sprawled. The problem with Austin, like frankly, is my problem with it is infrastructure. They're just everything's built on top of each other and like you can't get mm -hmm. anywhere i don't know I, I i just hate it it's like it's a city that refused to plan for more than like a million or people it's or a so. 50s it's a 50s yeah. type city it's very shitty and old and like everything like the fucking power lines there's some spots you could just jump up and touch them they're so low to the ground <laughs> and it's, it's the crazy thing you'll do <laughs> it's don't do it but you could uh yeah, yeah well Jesus i love where Christ. i'm at dude yeah real estate wise has the investment I, yeah. there Insane, bro. It's ridiculous. Hook me up with one of your realtors. I might as well just buy one of the places. <laughs> bro, I got. I, I have realtors. I have like. I'm friends with a judge. Like, it's crazy how quickly. Uh, like, I'm the most famous person in this whole town easily, <laughs> and they all really like me a lot. And they like, all it's, know it. I make sure they yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. I rub it in their faces. Me as such. I carry around my gold play button. <laughs> I'm That's sure you do. <laughs> As you should. I think you... That's fucking wild. It is really cool, though. I love it. Be careful. Careful. You don't want Ami Otalio to steal it. True. You yeah. don't want Keemstar yeah, to come be, down and steal you... it. Keemstar would like... <laughs> he loves doing that. 
that dude if anything no, he wants like piss off King if anything that. on the podcast he wants mine that is so funny I, I i don't know why it's like the infinity stones of keemstar yeah exactly like He's a baller. it is hilarious it's hilarious I, I feel i feel like he has some like special place in his mansion or something like this like a special room where these are placed in like podiums or something he's like that's mine he's like polishing them every day it's like this this is what it's all about like, and the, the, the lost is an empty that I pedestal and it just says Ethan Klein. Yes. Oh <laughs> my god. The one that he covets the most. I it's think he probably would sell production. everything for that for that play button. He would do anything for that. Those guys like have the oh weirdest rivalry ever. It's oh man. It's not a I rivalry. think they'll eventually like, be friends. Rivalry, Actual like, hatred. They're like hate. I think they should just start a podcast together already. I mean honestly that would be telling you they should start a podcast. They call it Enna Friends, new concept. Uh, and it will be huge. Well, it's like it, it's funny because there's like there's so much genuine hatred. Like I've never yeah. actually genuinely ever been like beef with anybody. Like even like the closest one would be like Ice Poseidon because I think he's like a scumbag, but I don't hate Ice Poseidon. Like it's like whatever. You're just a fucking. I don't know. You're a would weird guy. I wouldn't associate with you, but it's not like there's this genuine like, oh man, I want this guy's fucking you know like a life or like insane. You know, and to that point where it's like I want everything removed or gone away, or like I'm getting to the point where I'm like scrutinizing relationships and all that shit. I'm like, I'm never, never in a million years we're reaching that level. So it's just it's like you do realize both of them are living their lives praying that none of their mistakes like get public and praying that the other people don't see them in a moment of weakness. It's like I bet That's you every time stress, Ke- do you realize every time Keemstar stubs his toe, he thanks God Ethan doesn't know about it. Okay? Like <laughs> Yeah, he trips and he looks around for a camera and he's like, Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Literally, man. Not gonna be on the is- H3 podcast today. <laughs> Oh my god! We, I swear, this might have been the best episode we. I, I like this. Yeah, this is fun. This is I got like the endorphins from laughing so much. I feel good. How's it going? This is like insanely fucking well done. It's like we laughed at actual like internet d- dumbasses. And honestly, like just just to go back to the Ethan and like you know Keem shit just now. It's like this is a rivalry that I don't think will ever ever end. I, I think it'll outlive the internet. This is like the one true rivalry yeah, true. that I've just seen. Period. Um, it's 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 just insane to. Insane I think to it's the it. reason Keem hasn't quit YouTube. I don't know. I, it's total speculation. But I think like both of them probably could retire at this point, and I think both of them are trying yeah. to outlast the other. True, I think so. I think it's, they're just dude, waiting before one or the other gets banned, and then they can finally yeah. like smoke the. <laughs> they, they can have the last laugh. They're both gonna show up at each other's yep. graves. Like it's gonna be one of those things where it's like showing up at the hater's grave, puffing a stog. You know, one of the things that I want to give Boogie Two Nine Eighty Eight a lot of credit for that I didn't give last episode or maybe an episode before uh-huh. is uh, I have big respect for the man for trying to make his money the, by his own merits and not falling into the crypto shit like I Show Speed or any of these people have. Um, you know, when I saw when I saw the okay, whole dude. Speed FTX right, thing, dude. no joke. Like, You're giving him too much credit. No, no, no. He, yeah, he gets ten thousand views. He gets ten thousand views a video. I'm, okay. You know, wasn't he I'm just wasn't he so, just bragging like last year that like hey I got rich from crypto? Yeah, he was. He, he literally did, was bragging last year. He's like, I don't have well, to work anymore. I'm rich now. Apparently, if you watch the video, yeah. Apparently, if you watch the video, he made like six figures, I think, or something. Uh, but apparently, the same person that gave him investment advice, uh, who well, Mick Jagger Nuggets. Okay, let's not yeah, pretend the other way. It, it was Mick Jagger Nuggets that gave him the, the investment advice or like the crypto advice, and that went obviously it fell through the roof. Which my my answer to anybody in that field, like if you're boogie or something, were like. If you have that much substantial earning in crypto, and, and the way that I always look at it is like whenever you have like a portfolio, and this sounds really douchey, it always has to be as diversified as you can, right? Like, yeah, of if course. I lose eighty percent of crypto, right? Which, looking at how the market is these days, pretty true. <laughs> All right, I'm just giving you guys some insight. That's like maybe ten percent of the overall financials, right? So it's like even if I lost a shit ton in crypto, the overall isn't like doom yeah. and gloom you know it's like whatever just keep it to the side people who have all their money put into that like one specific investment and it all goes down that's when like the fucking shit comes out now in boogie's like again defense over here he's been doing like only fans and like he's been making some money out of that and everything to see him Big not money. jump into the crypto space yet all right because here's the thing no matter how dead boogie's channel may be he could still make really good money pushing True. a crypto token i see your point he hasn't like, run like the coin thing he hasn't gotten sponsored by a coin exactly. he hasn't started his own coin exactly cuz like even with a channel like that and we remember this from like the fucking sam pepper days right like save the kids token 
I remember I had the same exact thing where Sam yeah. Pepper could post like a five like tweet and get three grand. Three grand is a good chunk of money, no matter what. Like for one fucking tweet, that five likes, which in reality are really like one actual like because four of them are your own sock accounts. Uh, kind of a big deal, all right? And the fact that he hasn't jumped into that yet is, like, pretty pretty big respect in that. I don't know if he's doing it because of the legal issues surrounding him, and I don't think he wants the extra, you know, like, B. Like, he doesn't want the he doesn't want another, like, alphabet agency to, like, start looking into his shit. But also, it's like, you know, a bit more respect. Like, Speed, it's interesting because Speed, it, it, he's already a pretty wealthy kid. He has to be, right? Like, he's, he's been on wealthy. YouTube for yeah, a bit now. of course. Yeah. He's been on here. Shit, anybody driving a fucking Porsche around, wealthiest, you're fine. Like, you're you're living in the 1%. And even then, after all of it, you still say yes to a crypto scam. Kind of an insane thing to me. Because when I looked at the crypto thing, I'm like, you make six figures, right? And six figures is a good chunk of money, but it's not good enough to burn your fucking bridges with your fans. Or scam your fans, really. No amount of money really is. But, like... Seeing Speed do that, and, and you can even see in the video when he was streaming with these, like, Paradox coin guys, he was a little on edge. He was like, I don't really feel comfortable, but just a contractual obligation, might as well go through with it. And it just didn't fucking pan out. That's the thing that I don't ever understand with influencers. Like... At that I, stage, you know, I do. I do agree. What Speed did was way worse, and like, I, I all Boogie, all Boogie did was kind of make a meme of himself because he just was like, "Oh, I'm yeah. rich," and then like one year later, he's like, "I'm broke. I need your help." You know, that that was like just funny. But yeah, like what Speed did is like terrible. I mean, uh, but uh, honestly, I I think his excuse, and it's a to be fair, it's true. He's just super young, and I think he's just gonna realize. Oh, yeah. I mean, dude. I think it's tough being like literally a minor and uh, getting famous yeah. that fast, like getting famous as famous as he has gotten. Yeah, as I think fast it's the famous that famous. fast thing. The the minor thing definitely, you know, it'll keep him out of jail. But I I feel like it's not a good enough excuse to no, be it honest. Doesn't, it doesn't make it excusable. But what I'm gonna say is like I think uh, it's different than like a like a 20 year old, even a 20 year old. I feel like I feel like you age so fast in those years. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too soft on him here. Listen, man. What do you everyone think, that's alive, everyone that's alive on YouTube right now and making content, and every single person gets those, you know, emails that crypto True. coins want to sponsor you. Everyone True. gets them. Okay. The amount of mm -hmm. people that get exposed and get scammed and get and uh, get absolutely obliterated on the internet, it's it's unbelievable. The, there is no excuse. There's no plea for ignorance in something like this. It's so yeah. common now. I'd have to agree. It's like, I mean, sure, there's a lot of ignorance. There's a lot of ignorance because he's young or whatever. But um, at the same time, I don't really care. You still got to have consequences to your actions and, and like duck sure. off of water's back if the duck is under the age of 18 or, or you know, around that age. It just doesn't really make that much sense yeah. to me. So I feel like uh, I feel like he should be like I wish his fans would hold him more accountable in all honesty because then he would learn because like he should still be given a chance to learn obviously but there's See, the, le the lesson the lesson he's learning from this is damn it I leaked audio that's yeah, the exactly, lesson learned yeah. it's yeah. not the scam part what I would say though is the next time people are going to be way less forgiving like way yeah. less this Which happens one yeah. more time and like it's like there is no benefit the, of the doubt on TikTok, it's very split. A lot of the videos that have gone viral of him, like, being exposed. And ex there's videos of him exposing as if he was exposing Paradox. Oh, yeah, that's so goofy. That's, that's so, so dumb. stupid, dude. There's, like, 100,000, like, uh, top comments on those videos saying, thank you, Speed, for exposing the scammers. Like, get your bag, man. Dude, what? <laughs> it's like no, you were you were part. You platformed the scammer. Yeah, it's like the yeah. Thing. You got yeah. you use Cristiano Ronaldo. They like lied. It's so stupid, bro. It's so annoying and stupid. If I was Cristiano Ronaldo, I would sue them all for using his likeness. Yes, yeah, no, Chris on, like, Ronald. Honestly, honestly, I would too. I'd be like, yeah, hey, if just, I'm gonna sell out for a crypto bag. I'm gonna do it on my own time. Okay. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Sell out for me. I yeah. feel like for some reason Cristiano Ronaldo would like actually sell out for some crypto coin. <laughs> he seems like he might. Yeah. He seems like I, the type. Dude, uh, it, yeah. Listen, I I wouldn't have expected Bro, you just Tom wait Brady for... to fucking jack off FTX, but 
Yeah, dude, did you, got, you gotta just I, wait I for Kanye s- West to start promoting Yeezy Have coin. you seen the Larry David FTX sketch? This is no. the one guy. I, I'm no forgiveness for anybody who's done the FTX stuff, except for one guy, okay? Larry David got his bag, and you know what? I'm not even mad about it. Pull it up. Wait, 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 wait. It's really it? funny. I was like, dude, if he knew, it's 10,000 IQ. Wait, wait, where Larry David... I Obviously, I'm so kind of joking you there, but kind of not. Here, I'll show you, I'll show you. I see this. They might have Oh, wait, it. holy shit, a day ago, Tom Brady and uh, Larry David and Steph Curry... Oh, yeah, they're all being sued. They're, they're right all now. being sued. Oh, so the dude literally gorgeous. goes, eh, I don't think so. And then he's right, but he's, he's like, doing the ad, but he's, like, basically saying, like, eh, don't do it. And then he's right. Like, he's yeah. totally right. It's like, in the end, he was totally right. It's not a thing. What a clever marketing scheme. Yeah, I know. I was like, I was like, because he's getting, pa- like, look at the comments of that. People are like, this is the only person that I don't care that they, they got this. Larry is never wrong about that stuff. Never. Larry is so never, talented. Ever he, wrong even when he's that. doing comedy, he bumbles into the future. Like, the guy's <laughs> just getting a free own. pass <laughs> on making, like, millions of dollars. That's and then a- Tom Brady is just getting roasted. Tom, dude, Tom Brady, I think it's, okay, I think the roasting happens when you're, like, when you're trying to hide everything, you know what I mean? Tom's like, an alien. Remember the whole social, like, when you go to the Social Blade shit, And if you've seen the Windigoon like, episode, you know what Oompa thinks about aliens. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're all, we're all alien haters here. The thing about, like, the fucking, god damn it, that episode is great. The thing about, like, uh, the thing about Tom Brady, and I think it's funnier, because, like, when, uh, when the whole FTX shit went down, and remember when SBF was, like, just posting those, like, one-word tweets, we're like, oh, my God, he's, like, trying to, like, offset the fucking social blade cast so we don't see him deleting anything. Tom Brady out here didn't give a fuck. 73 tweets deleted. I'm like, oh, shit, this motherfucker did Tom Brady, FTX, and just mass deleted everything. Oh, I'm totally. Like, Damn. Immediately. Did not care. Dude, I think he lost no, we- a ton of money on FTX. I think he had money stuck there. I don't know if that's ever been confirmed. Like Tom Brady? hundreds of Wouldn't millions. Be surprised. Wouldn't be like a lot of the Stupid a lot of the celebrity of stuff out there. They they get they get jumped into it, and I think it's like they get they get their money. Some of them actually end up believing this to shit too, because it's like honestly. you you have to you have to imagine like as somebody that is a celebrity, you can, nobody is an expert in everything, right? So if like some fucking banker dude is in your po- pocket and like telling you to do this, you're probably gonna believe it. It's like the same thing. Why like I almost feel bad for Boogie because it's like when he put his money and like I got rich off crypto. Which by the way, don't ever be that smug on the internet, guys. Your karma will always strike you back in some way. It's fucked up. But uh, when Boogie was like showcasing it, he probably like believed that he was gonna win because he had like you know um, McJugger Nuggets helping him out, and McJugger Nuggets I assume is a relatively wealthy guy. It's the same thing I say about like influencers promoting crypto, right? Like there's a lot of legitimacy if like somebody who's already wealthy and like they have a nice house, they have nice cars, is promoting a crypto because it makes people who don't who don't have that. Like, like, this guy must be doing it for the reason. This guy right. must be doing it. This is how he gets rich. Right. So it's image intimidation, and it always, always fucking works. It's why you always see, like, the the meme with Andrew Tate. It's like, what color's your Bugatti, right? Like, bro, Bugatti. the Bugatti, I would never buy it because it's like, it's a $3 million car. makes no fucking sense. But if I had to sell a brand, if I had to sell the wealthy lifestyle, the Bugatti is the best investment I could ever make because it just sets me apart from the other fucking, like, uh, Hamburger University or, like, fucking, you know... The crazy, Lambo guys. Uh, you know. Yeah, exactly, Those right? Poor like, people. You got the, you got the... Yeah, like, you got the fucking Lambo guys, like, the, the fucking Civic guys of the fucking, you know? <laughs> like, uh... uh the, 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 the red his, pill, like, His pipeline. Bugatti was great advertising. Bugatti. Yeah. More exactly. Bugatti. Like, I'll come to your mom's out house. Of, out of all of Andrew's cars that I know... It's the fucking Bugatti. I don't even... He probably has something more expensive than the fucking Bugatti, but it's just the one meme that's always hit around. So I think for, like, a lot of people that get, like, goaded into this shit, it's just... They, 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 it's just the image intimidation that works, man. Like, if you have SBF, who was, like, what? Basically the fucking poster child for crypto at a time? You're probably gonna fucking believe what he says about crypto. Like, what? what are you a yeah. bigger authority than that? No. And probably I, not. I didn't right? want to interrupt you earlier because you were on a roll. But when you were talking about the boogie thumbnail, the one where I made millions on crypto, and you said, "Don't ever do that." Karma comes around. It's like I, I have a, mm-hmm. a little. I, I make mental notes every time you tweet or post something that could be potentially in the future. The first half of a meme. Stay away from it. Never oh a good sign. Oh my gosh, I, uh, Nux, I completely agree with that. Sometimes I check myself. I go, wait a second, this is crap. Could this be a, this could a be, trap? Could this be the, the first future. half of a meme? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Good thing I always avoid X, and then you're just like, no, don't tweet that. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't put that out there. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. It's uh, like, yeah, dude. No, oh god. Don't. What was the the Deji one? Deji had a really good one. Dude, I don't. What did Deji make? Oh, I remember there was a really good Deji one where he had like two videos one after the other. It's like you can't rob me, and then another video I got robbed. <laughs> it was like something like that. Yo, this is the De problem De with De being De on, on the internet for too long, though. You just start to put out enough stuff to where, like, you've said so many things that eventually someone can, like, edit together something that you... something stupid and make you look dumb. I don't know. I think I think if you're going to be on the internet for long enough, you need to resign yourself that you're going to sometimes, like, get done yeah. done. I think it's just, like, part of life. I mean, you're... you're like, is no, no shaming and fucking dunked on. Like, you can go for it, but, like... Try to control how much of a yeah, dunk it can happen. Yeah, of course, of course. But uh, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just yeah. saying, like at some level, like you guys do this podcast, what every week yeah. or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll do like every two week. hours of content every week. That's like a hundred, a hundred plus hours in a year. It's gonna be hundreds of hours by the time y'all finish this. That is just, just gonna be out there mm -hmm. on all sorts of topics. At some point, if somebody wanted to, they could just come, come in here watch enough stuff and clip you guys out of context to say, Bro, say basically this anything. is the internet people don't take other people out of context here okay <laughs> yeah, true. Like, please yeah you can't lie on the internet <laughs> yeah you're part <laughs> of the matrix on the Bro. Internet. Wait, that's not allowed <laughs> yeah, yo did no, y'all no, see that illegal, uh, dude. there's a yes. wild dude documentary that does this oh. have y'all seen <laughs> died suddenly no no what oh it's just like crazy anti-vax like conspiracy but every every clip <sighs> is like chopped up it's like it's like it's like Bill being like, being like, I, and then it's like another clip like hate. <laughs> it's like kids or something like that. Or it's like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's where he's talking about, at one point he's talking about like, hey, the birth rate lowers when our health gets better. So he's like, yeah, and I'm no fan of Bill Gates, by the way, but he's like talking about, um, he's talking about like, as healthcare and like vaccines get better, the population birth rate, or the, popul uh, the population will lower. And then the clip just cuts there. And then there's a guy talking, and he's like, see, he wants to kill us with vaccines. And it's oh, like, my it's like, God. And then the, the song hits. Oh. It's like, duh, 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 duh. And you're like, wait, but you didn't play the rest. Like, the, there's like five seconds after that that totally changes the meaning of everything he just said. But it's like nobody cares. Well, because that would ruin the whole documentary. That's why you have to, like, have the little snippets. Yeah. Remove context. And listen. I don't want to be the Bill yeah. Gates. Like, I don't, I'm not stumping for Bill Gates here. Like, the dude is weird. Yeah, yeah. But, like... Yeah, I feel like the internet is bad about that. Really bad. No, I, dude, this is, this is, it's the thing. Like, I'm not a simp for Bill Gates. I don't give a f about that guy. Like, I, like, here's my rule when it comes to rich people. I don't trust anybody, like, and I don't trust anybody richer than me. That's the whole thing. Like, anybody that makes more money than I do, anybody <laughs> oh, richer than good, me, I don't hey, trust that's it. a good one. Like, if you make more money than me, you must be a criminal. Because yeah. I've done everything yeah. I can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I just, I just don't trust somebody Hell that makes yeah. way more than I do. Like, especially when a billionaire comes to do it. Because in my head, I'm like, bro, your brain is on a totally different level. You don't care. Like, at that point, your value system and my value system must be entirely different or like or or like the other thing is like you're you're so far above the system that i don't see why you would yeah. give too much of a shit about it or why i should have any stock you're like i will never see what bill gates's life is about i will never live that lifestyle and same with elon musk and i don't think they like think the same things that i do their life experience or like where they're at in the world is not the same so i don't really even can trust it like it's just so weird things get to, weird to when money kind of does stuff. not yeah. matter at all that's my theory. It's yeah, like, thoughts, exactly. Thoughts on how Hollow Life made a hundred million dollars in the last year? Do you have any thoughts? Well, that's nice one thing that I want to ask you. Just like Buddha. <laughs> that's just asking. Million. How does it make a hundred million? More to say. How nothing make... more to say Hollow here. Hollow Life is a VTuber well, thing, thing that Nux was telling me about before the show. Apparently, they made a hundred million dollars, which just makes no sense to me, and makes me immediately want to go abandon this ridiculous setup and go get a VTuber outfit or something. That's yeah, I'm so sure that'll like. Okay, but like a hundred million dollars, it's like, what do they just like have a lot of shit? Is it merch? Is it what? Like, what the fuck is? It's, it's a mix of a whole lot of things. It's a lot for advertising. Like Jared Leto, um, th th what's it called? Th this was this was insane. This is hilarious, cringe. You'd all love this if you saw this. Um, Morbius paid Hololive a lot of money for one of the Hololive Japanese like Fox Girl VTubers to interview Jared Leto. <laughs> 
Oh, so I've Jared seen that. Oh, no. Did you see I've that seen clip? clips of that? Oh, yeah. yeah. No. So Jared Leto, oh, like, movie. he comes on the stream and he's like, "Oh, wow, you're like, you're like a an animal." And she like answers him in Japanese and like the teleprompter explains what she says or whatever. And he's like, "Oh." You must. You look very strong. You have big muscles. You know, it's like the whole thing is like so disconnected. How much of an overlap is there between Morbin Time and like Hollow Life? I don't know, but a lot, a lot of people watch Hollow Life. I guess so. Well, the thing, the thing with like Hollow Life and like a lot of these things, it's like I I kind of equate it to like you know like some of the esports organizations in our community. Like it's not uncommon for companies like Face Plan or Hundred Thieves to now reach like. Hundred plus million valuations, you know. So it, it always felt like, like it, I don't. Again, I just it depends on what they're involved with and everything. Like merch and like all these things do tend to yeah, add yeah, the yeah. fuck up. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot so. there. I I sent you something on Discord, Muda, to look at. You'll tell me your you thoughts. Do, yeah. But um, there's there's a lot there. It's a big corporation, and they're doing very well for themselves. They have over sixty streamers now streaming for them. Uh, and also, you know, well, they. I don't give um, a fuck about the financials. I give a fuck about what you told me before this filming, and it was about the conspiracy with old uh, old Twitter. Please, please. Could okay, you no, no, no. That's just that's a conspiracy. I have no proof, and it's not Hololive's fault. That was a different group. That was something else. Whole different conspiracy. I, I don't want to talk about it until I have evidence. I'm working on it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We were trying to not talk it. about conspiracies before we had evidence. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought this not was a some ordinary podcast okay. where we talk about Balenciaga. <laughs> And I like this. Cult of... yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Why don't no, you tell no, no, us your no, no. crazy this is conspiracy? Just, I don't know. It's not my conspiracy. It's just something I heard through the grapevine, and there's no evidence that right. one VTuber organization paid Twitter to make sure that a different VTuber organization didn't have a topic on Twitter. I believe mm-hmm. it. You want to know why? And then they, they only got a topic right when Elon Musk took over I, Twitter. I think VTubers, like, just like a lot of, like, people who are, like, very, like, like, present very well i think behind the scenes maybe they're sharks like i feel like the people in charge of all these like vtuber tuber organizations are like mafioso killers dude coffee i love i agree <laughs> Any no, evidence. No, evidence. No, no, no but this no, is no, the no, 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 podcast no. okay oh my god i'm gonna no, get no, 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 no. live part like, of the the paradox metaverse not oh, yet boy. on its way dude yeah Tommy otalio is gonna go kidnap them if they don't Yo, you're gonna have the CEO of Hololive fucking Snapchat one of us and just go fucking. <laughs> no, yeah, maybe you go. Look, like, I am just saying. That. <sighs> oh god. Yeah, put a tin bag oh. on you. All right. I kind of believe a lot of the Twitter stuff, like whenever people buy trends, because it just like I don't know. When Elon came in, he gave gave a lot of shit out about like people buying verification for like fucking fourteen thousand dollars or some bullshit. Yeah. I don't think it's hard to like artificially inflate or like pay somebody to like be stifled or like promoted in an algorithm. I feel like Twitter pre Elon was like fucking hella corrupt in that regard, where you could just pay to get anywhere. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to sound like a fucking hardcore like MSM hater here, but like. It always felt like the original verification badge was really just, like, some fucking dunce cap they put on some of these, like, journalists. Yeah. Um, just as a way to, like, set them apart, I would say. And, like, almost also, like, algorithmically, artificially inflate them, too. Because for the longest time, like, there were people on YouTube and there were other people doing actual journalism that were just, like, getting fucking... Blasted. You're not famous enough. You can't... Yeah, you can't be part of the Twitter crew. True. And they're, like, fucking 20 follower, like... Re- Rebel News Andy shows up and gets fucking like immediately thrown up into like yeah. the verification. System. Also, like, something how the crazy. Fuck does that um, like you look at trends on Twitter since Elon Musk, and there's like a lot of you know TV shows, like stuff like that, like things that like right now mm. the second biggest thing on Twitter, on at least on mine because it's uh, probably set for me or whatever, is Blue Lock, which is like an anime about soccer. Like you'd never see something like that trending on Twitter. It's always politics. Always. Yeah, I think it's customized to like you specifically as well. Yeah. But okay, yeah. I, I have a question. I have a question about this because I've had a long suspicion, long held suspicion that like I know Twitter has less followers than anyone else, but in my conversations with other creators, journalists, anyone sort of like who's in the media, they all talk about Twitter disproportionately, and Twitter has this effect where people who are on Twitter and people in media seem to care a lot about Twitter. But I feel like the average audience, and like before I really had a YouTube channel, I never checked Twitter. I like never cared about yeah. it. Yeah, same, and same. My Twitter, and, yeah. and so it's this weird thing where I'm like, all right, why am I doing this? I, it's a great networking tool. That's the main reason I use it. But 
Yeah. My sense is I've never gained more respect for somebody after I saw them on Twitter. Like, I've, it's only gotten worse. Sometimes my estimation of somebody st stays the same, like they don't embarrass themselves. But I feel like the options on Twitter is embarrass yourself or nothing. Like, you, like you never, for me, you, I never go from like, oh, I respected you, but now I respect you way more because of your tweets are so awesome. So I kind of wonder sometimes, like, I wonder, like, I think Twitter's very entertaining, but I'm like, is it worth it to be on here? Like, net benefit, just career-wise, does it even make sense besides the networking? I'm like, because all of that can happen is I make some fool of myself because I have 140 characters to express myself. Or 280, whatever it is. Yeah, and nobody's going to, like, scroll down threads. They're just going to look at the first one. Of and, like, course, it's, like, all... Yeah. It's, like, all reactionary I, stuff. I just don't know if it even matters anymore. I just don't I really know don't think it, like, it does. It's, yeah, it's just, like, it's a fucking... I don't think it ever really like mattered. look at and laugh at. I, I just like to laugh at, like, the world burning, like, ever since, like, this whole Twitter shit was falling, and it literally happened, like, the same weekend that I was just out in California, and, uh, the thing about it is, like, when you go into the, like, it's the same thing I tell anything, anybody, and everyone here knows this, when you step into the real fucking world, the internet shit never matters, okay? Like, it just never does. Yeah. Like, true. if it, honestly, the world would be a fucking Mad Max universe if the world, if, like, the people of Twitter reflected that of the real fucking world. Like, if you go into the real world... I doubt many people even fire up Twitter. Many people even give a shit about it, right? Like, I'm not even a... Like, like I'll sign on to the app to see, like, a shit show for a minute, and I'll just throw the phone away, because I'm like, all right, that's enough. No, but you know, also, like, weekend, I was thinking the same thing. I only have Twitter because I, you know, I'm a YouTuber, and I contact other YouTubers through Twitter. That's the only yeah. reason why I have it. I would have never made a Twitter same. account for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not like it's not like it's Reddit where like you get like a bunch of different like subreddits or like areas to like jump into and explore. It's just like a, 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 it's like a it's like a bathroom stall of ever evolving shittiness. So it's like, what do you really get out of it? Exactly like Coffee says, there's like no net benefit. I think Art says it the best way too. It's like there's just no benefit to it at all. Like it's just you make one take and you're like immediately like you know castrated. But then I would say, like, if you're in, like, the world of politics, or at least that's where I see Twitter used the most. Yeah, that's where you need to be. Great and, farming. New, and breaking news is big, big yeah. there. It's, it's a great farming tool for an audience if you're in politics. Because, like, you, the way that the algorithms are set up in social media, you will always attract the most extreme end of whatever you're chasing for. And I think... As somebody that, again, lives in the real fucking world, I think it's a really bad way to treat any of these social media algorithms to, like, sort of radicalize people into one or the other side. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I guess it's great for the fucking creators that are taking advantage of it, but, like, I think for the general user base, kind of insane. Uh, that's why, like, I tend to stay away from it. I think it's just, like, one of the biggest contributing factors to, like, some of the crazy uh, clown world shit that we live in, you know? True. I, yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm. Yo, boys, I'm about but, uh, to have you to know? dip. Yeah, no, I know, same here. But uh, again, we'd love to. We'd love to just thank Coffee again for fucking showing up onto the some ordinary podcast. Fill One more in. time. Hey, I wasn't One more even time. invited, boys. I got. I'm. I'm the replacement. So imagine, as good as I was, imagine how good the guest must have been that canceled. Nah, no brother, one canceled. I, I, we just never invited anyone. <laughs> no, 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 are you fucking... Bro, he, you came in here with, like, a double-barrel shotgun and started unloading the greatest YouTuber. Yo, you the Ami Otalio stuff is hella entertaining. Actually, that's what I gotta run I'm, to go I'm, do. I'm, I gotta go edit something. Yeah. Yo, I'm about boys. To, like, can do a line of this and Ami Otalio yeah. on my way to fucking a night. But, uh, yeah, Umpi, you wanna lead us out here? You brought us in, brother. You take us out. That's it! <laughs> no, can we, we have got... the Looney Tools? That's all, folks. That's all, folks. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, it's me, and then Muda, and then Nux, obviously, and then our fantastic guest, CoffeeZilla. I want to wait for coming to Bussy times. Boy. Wait for three Almost times. Almost a Bussy Boy. Almost. Soon it'll be a Bussy Boy. It'll be one of yeah. us soon. Hell yeah. Right. Right. Take care, we get Bussy Boy merch. Yeah.